Hey, what's going on YouTube? Got another comparison video for you. Hey, uh, today we're going to do the Gokaiger Saber slash Super Mega Saber from Power Ranger Super Mega Force. No, no, it's not Super Mega Saber, it's Super Mega Saber! You'll know why I, why I call it that in a minute. Yeah, obviously just referencing the fact that the voice on the uh, toy is terrible. Um, Let's go ahead and start like we always do with turning on the toy. First, we got the Gokai Saber. I love that. And now we have the Super Mega Saber. Super Mega Saber. Yeah, that was, that was lame. Okay, okay. They chirped at me like a bird. Right. Now the both thing that you can, the one thing you can tell between both of them is that they are both pirate style cutlasses, and they both do have pretty much the same features as each other, just different sounds. So go ahead and just right, that's like that. Okay, they both do make the unlocking sound. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the red Buster key which is the full-size Japanese version. And this is my, my brother's metallic version of it, too. So it's like, why don't I have the metallic version? Okay. Okay. You see how that lights up right there? That's the, actually the initial attack. But we always know that, of course, they have their main attack sound. And you see, that's just one sound. And every time you pull that trigger, the light changes color. I'll show you the other thing. With each color ranger you put into this particular one, it, I get confused. See? It'll flash blue, or pink, or de depending on whatever color key you put in it. Now the last thing I want to mention is that with the Japanese version of the Gokaiger toys, you hold down that trigger initially, it'll say a little line or something like that, you know, the pistol does the same thing too. But, now let's turn it over to the Super Mega Saber! Oh, I don't want to. But, uh, uh, as he uh, previously mentioned for the Japanese version, uh, in this first initial sound, you'll see that the blade actually lights up on this version, on the American uh, Bandai of America version. Uh, not a feature that was found on the Bandai of Japan version. Uh, but, uh, like he said, uh, very, the same length uh, and all that, I'm going to use the American uh, Dino Black Ranger. So, let's go ahead and... Wow, it wasn't even. It wants to reject it. It keeps pushing it out. Look at that. Well, they, yeah. they, put the, they put the arms up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got well, that. Well, yeah. yeah they yeah. make it a little tricky. All right. Sounds like it's going to explode. Now, just wait a second. Put that speaker right against there so they can hear exactly how horrible this sounds. It's like the only pretty thing you can hear is the Mega, but it still sounds like Dupa Mega Saber. Mega, Mega, Is that supposed to be Tyler? Uh, not, uh, I think, I think oh, it's not Tyler. To be Troy. Think? Troy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Dino Charge. My bad. <laughs> and of course, no different sounds. It just keeps making the same powered-up sound uh, after you initially put in the keys. Yeah. So it doesn't uh, just make a regular slicing sound. You would have to take the key. Obviously out, but here's the one thing that he seems to forget. Yeah, but if you notice, there are six different sounds that the, the single, a single push of the button makes, three short sword sounds, and then three power slicing sounds. Those are the short ones. There's a long one. There's a second one. And there's a third one. So. While that makes a bit more sounds, in a sense, you know, for, for swordplay, this one is still better because, again, it's the Japanese one, Japanese keys, lights up, makes full sound, and, yeah, and you hold on, you hold on the trigger on that one, and nothing. You see, the, the, this, you actually have to really press and release. You see? I have to press and release to make the actual sword swipe. But if I hold it down... 
So you see, that's why I like this one a lot better than that. Unfortunately, it still has to come home with me. Well, uh, despite uh, their uh, obvious differences, uh, at least they are about the same size. So anyone who is looking to pick one up for cosplay purposes, unless you were to get an actual PVC replica or make one yourself, um, if, you're, if you're worried about the size, it really doesn't matter which one that you get. But if you're worried about the sounds that they make, get the Bandai of Japan version. That is your best bet. I did. So, um, again, uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm. Later.